Hallelujah. If I could ask the worst thing, Hallelujah. The power of God comes upon us after stillness in the presence of God. Now, maybe some of you, God is telling you right now, just stay still. Okay? Just like you say, keep calm. Just stay in the stillness and in the presence of God. You know what the reason why? Because God is busy doing something and preparing for you one of these days. Kung gagalo ka, baka hindi mo makuha. Kung tatakbo ka, baka maluwanan mo. Kung tatalikot ka, baka mamiss mo the great fortune that God has for you. When God said, just stay still. And the reason why, He's preparing something for you. In the power of the Spirit of God, telling you this, you will be empowered and you will be blessed unexpectedly in a sudden manner. So we all close our eyes and we could bow our heads to pray right now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Si Rabakan, the Sukha, the Sikha, the Loko, the Sikha, the Kuri. Sukha, the Sikha, the something that you have never expected you're going to receive them and this is the word of God for you right now if you're going to be ready to receive the sudden change and the sudden blessing in your life so much more you have to be ready to the sudden things that's either going to define you or break you but the word of God is so clear and loud this afternoon Whatever kind of sudden change, when the Spirit of God is upon you, nothing can help you. When the Spirit of God is upon you, nothing can hinder what God has prepared for you. The secret of your victory doesn't lie in your hands. The secret of your victory is simply because the Spirit of God is upon you. It's upon your family. It's about the church. It's about everything. That is the secret that you can stay victorious. And Father God, as we come before you right now, abang lahat mo nang matanatay na kapikit. If there are some people in here that something that happened suddenly in the last few days or last few weeks, as everybody's eyes are closed, I would like you to raise your hand. I would like to pray for you. Or maybe in one way or another, you're, you're finding it hard and you're struggling how to cope up and how to move on. I would like to pray for you. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Because no sudden things that can change the power of God in your life. Because you are more powerful than any sudden changes when the Spirit of God is upon you. I don't want you to be discouraged, but rather I would like you to feel courageous right now because the empowerment of the Holy Spirit, you will have them. Father God, you can see the hands of the people right now. That sometimes, Father God, in one way or another, we find it hard. And we struggle in the Panginoon to cope up. Whether in a good way or in a bad way. But Lord, 
we ask for the empowerment of your Holy Spirit. Lord, give them enough strength. Give them enough power, oh God. Give them enough power, Panginoon. And even, Father God, for those who have received a sudden change in their lives, even in the form of blessings, Lord, we are rejoicing with these people right now. But we know that the sudden changes and the sudden blessings of God, Lord, it is not only for our own enjoyment, but also, Father God, so that we can give back the glory back unto your name. I pray, O oh God, for those who are feeling discouraged right now, for those who are feeling afraid and weak, for those who are feeling so discouraged and discouraged and not in all to the point that they would like to stop, I am praying, O oh Lord, Lord, empower them by the mighty presence of your Holy Spirit, O oh God. And even, Panginoon, our hearts, as you can see our hands, our hearts are so expectant, Panginoon, even for the sudden change that you're going to do, you're going to give to this church. In terms of bringing people, in terms of a renewed life, in terms of people, Father God, after people, group of people after group of people, Panginoon, that one day, Lord, we believe that they're going to come into this church and they will come to know you and praise you and serve you, God. Lord, we thank you, Lord. We thank you, Father God. We are so thankful. We are so thankful and grateful, Panginoon, sa mga sudden changes. Because the sudden changes, Father God, will be find your people in serving you and in loving you. We thank you, Lord. In you, we give all the praises and all the thanksgiving in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God. to give whoever wants to give whatever they can give to God this is the time and I just would like to announce that's right okay lang okay mawag muna tayo because on September 29 and 30 will be our encounter no 29-30 so those who are willing to join us na mag fast especially sa nag-SOT naka 40 days na tayo last time eh. I'm not sure if this is a welcome news but if we are going to do it 40 days we will have to start tomorrow because the 40th day will be on September 28th and I think Pastor it will be designed 6 come, come to 2 and 12 to 8 namili na lang kayo kung anong gusto niyo but 40 days for those who would like to join 40 days will start tomorrow yung counting ng past marami tayong itudulog sa Panginoon lalo na itong encounter na to because we are expecting much maraming mga souls ang nag the desire to join and let's join them in our prayer na schedules Ano mga problema, that the enemy will not be successful, but we will pray that the Holy Spirit will give us the victory and the assurance. Na ito mga souls na ito ay makakilala sa kanyo. Okay. Uh, let us all stand. In close na pastor, in prayer. Let us all stand and pray. Father God, what a blessed afternoon. Thank you once again for the promise that it is your Holy Spirit that will empower us. Father God, it is not ours. It is not our strength. But it is the gift that you have given to us. And that is the Holy Spirit that will empower us to do things mightily. Lord, we desire and we continue to sing yung mga bagay na gusto may pagawa sa amin. And Lord, we offer ourselves this afternoon and we acknowledge that hindi namin ito magagawa, Panginoon. Not unless you are with us. Father God, Lord, kung may papagawa ka man lang sa amin, Lord, we ask you that do this with us. We do not want to do things na wala ka sa, sa tabi namin, Panginoon. Because we know na hindi ito magtagumpay. Lord, and any changes that you're going to, to, to give to us, 
Lord, we welcome these changes because we know that these changes are ordained by you. These changes are planned by you and it is for us to give you glory and it is for us to shine forth the love that you have set in us. Lord, any change, as long as it is from you, we will gladly welcome it. Sa mga puso namin. Salamat Panginoon sa word na binigay mo sa amin this afternoon. Once again, we welcome the Holy Spirit in our lives and we welcome the Holy Spirit in this church. Lord, guide us and continue to direct our steps in every way. Lord, we have tried it before and we failed because we failed to listen from you. This time, we pray, you know, Lord, teach us to be sensitive of your voice that we can really hear you clearly. Sa mga isip namin, sa mga puso namin, that everything that we want to do, everything that we will do from this time on, it is because you have ordered it for us to do. Bless us sa mga devotions namin every day, Panginoon, that every day we would hear you, every day we would clearly hear your instructions sa mga buhay namin. Lord, thank you for all the things that you have revealed to us. Individually, Panginoon, my Lord, you are speaking to our hearts. And thank you for making it clear to us that all these things come from you. And Lord, as we do these things, may our mind and may our heart would single-handedly desire and choose to glorify you above all things, to bring back the glory and the honor to you. Lord, it may be for ourselves, but Lord, we will not take it as for our own, but we will take it and bring glory back to you. Because all these things come from you. Thank you for the blessings you've received throughout the week. Thank you for the blessing of family. Thank you for the blessing of each one of us. Yung mga buhay na nakita namin na nagbago pa ginoon because of you. Lord, these are encouragements to us. Thank you. Salamat pa ginoon that you are truly concerned of each one of us. Every one of us. Lord, at may nakaplano na para sa mga buhay namin. And we don't want to hinder these plans because we we listen to our flesh, we listen to our own minds. Lord, we want to, to put this aside because we want to hear from you clearly. Lord, sa mga buhay na bago pa na bago pa na nakakilala sa iyo, Lord, my prayer is that every day you will continue to reveal yourself to them of who you really are. That your mind and your power will be clearly displayed in their lives. Sa mga decisions na gagawin namin, in every step na gagawin namin, Lord, it is you who is going to lead us. Thank you for the lives of each one of us here. And Lord, once again, I claim and I decree salvation to each member of the family that you represent now in Lito Mayon. Lord, that your glory would shine forth in our lives so that those people around us would see kung sino ka, how mighty, and how powerful you are. Let our lives speak of your love, Panginoon, sa mga tamo ito. Lord, as we go out of this place, as we go on living this week, na wala kami dito sa church, we ask for the guidance of the Holy Spirit, the leading of the Holy Spirit, the instruction, and the help of the Holy Spirit to be with us. Lord, we desire to be in your presence always. And we even, we can do it, you know, even if we are alone. Because your presence is in our hearts. Lord, we thank you for our lives. And we thank you for the blessings that you have given us. Once again, continue to bless this church, I know, your church, where Jesus Christ is the head of the church. Na magawa namin kung ano ang pagawa mo sa amin. We give you all the glory, the honor, and the praise because you deserve it. In the powerful name of Jesus, I pray. Amen.
and if you all sing for the uh, victory song. But before we do that, can you just welcome po yung family ni Matt, si Adara, si Dola, and si Jen again. Si Jen, lahat yan yung nagsirin na ito ang ingat today. Okay, follow.
see this song. And then for the last one, I'm going to see you guys try to roam around. Ayakabin po natin ang kapatid natin. Kamayan po natin, especially po yung mga bisita natin. In behalf of the Passion Church, kay Kinana, at saka po kay Tita, at saka po sa kanilang kapatid, si Jen, at saka kay CJ. CJ, welcome. Welcome to the Passion Church. And also, we'd like to welcome si Paolo, at saka si Anil. Mapakal na natin si Lord. Let's dance in this place, okay, uh, we're all too busy, but what's up again? Come on, let's sing for the last time. Just roll around, let's uh, let everyone hear the love. Amen? Come on, how do you do that? Oh, 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 I object. 